In this video I will help you understand what is provisioning, how to set up and manage user provisioning and group provisioning for your users using the mini orange dashboard. Provisioning simply refers to the creation, updation, and deletion of your external and internal users access to on-premise, cloud, and hybrid apps. User provisioning. User provisioning is an identity access management process that involves the process of creating, updating, and deleting a user's account and access in multiple applications and systems at once. Need to provision arise when information is added or changed in an original system database. Hiring, promotions, transfers are examples of events that can set off provisioning. Provisioning ensures users' access rights are up to date without manual efforts. Group provisioning. Group provisioning is required when you want to maintain the same user hierarchy and access control in multiple applications at once. You can sync users with their corresponding group names between different applications. It syncs user groups with all related applications and provides equivalent access accordingly. MiniOrange provides following features. Real-time provisioning. Scheduled provisioning. Lifetime management. Automatic deprovisioning. User management. Reduce human involvement. First, we will need an account with Mini Orange to access the admin dashboard. To create an account, follow the link displayed on the screen or you can also click on the link mentioned in the description of this video. To set up your account just visit login.securify.com and login using the credentials provided in the email. Amazing! You are logged into the admin dashboard. Now let's try and see how we can set up user and group provisioning for our applications. Click on the provisioning section from the left navigation bar. Here there are three sections. Set up provisioning, import users, and import groups. You can view the list of the imported users in the user section and imported groups in the group section from the left navigation bar. First, let's go to the set up provisioning section and select the application from the drop down. Here before selecting the application, it is a prerequisite that your application is configured as a user store in the mini orange. Here I am selecting the Active Directory. Now in the Enable Provisioning Feature section, there are two subsections, User Provisioning or Deprovisioning, and Group Provisioning or Deprovisioning. Now for the selected application, you can enable provisioning features such as Import Create Edit or Delete User, Password Sync, etc. for your users. And then save the settings. You have successfully saved the settings for your application. Now to enable the provisioning features for the groups, go to the group provisioning section. Enable the features you want, and save the setting by clicking on the save button. You have successfully saved the settings. Now let's take a look at the import user section, where you can import the users from your application. Now to import the users, first select your application from the drop down and then click on the import button. You have successfully imported the users, which you can view in the user section. Now let's go to the import group section, where you can import the user groups from your application. Now let's import the groups by selecting the application from the drop down and then clicking on the import button. You have successfully imported the groups which can be viewed in the group section here. Now, whenever a user is created or modified and if the group sync is enabled, the user group attribute will be automatically synced and the user group will be assigned or changed accordingly in mini orange. Amazing work guys! Now you know how to set up user and group provisioning for your applications using Mini Orange Dashboard. Thank you for watching this video. For more information drop us a query on info at securify.com for any other question.